The boat crossing Kinko One right now is the uh, Sakurajim Ferry. They've got ferries running back and forth every 15 minutes during the day. Later at night, it goes down to one an hour, but still they run uh, fairly regularly, pretty late. A lot of fishing in the area. Occasionally, there'll be a submarine. The uh, Navy runs a uh, diving practice down in this area every so often, but not right now. Haven't seen a whole lot of interesting stuff lately. There was a uh, a tall mast, uh, four-master ship that came in here uh, and docked for a little while about a year ago. But I uh, haven't seen anything like that uh, recently. Kirishima is up in the mists ahead of us up north. Got a fishing boat coming in down here. A lot of cargo ships coming in. There's a uh, major uh, several major cargo ports in this area of course Sakurajima itself and down to the south we get to uh, the mouth of the bay that opens up in the Pacific Ocean and uh, Ibuski I've only been down to Ibuski once for uh, mountain climbing I haven't actually been into the city itself it's got a reputation for uh, hot sand bath bathing. They dig a hole in the in the beach and then you lie in that and they put sand on top of you. I may do that sometime, but not for a while. And then of course we've got Senganan at the uh, base of the hill, and there's a lot of sailboats windsurfing right now. Uh, at least ten. Wind surfboards. I think I'll walk down in this area. This is going to take me to uh, Iso Beach, which is a swimming beach, but it's not very clean. All right, well, I wasn't initially planning on coming down here when I set out this afternoon, but uh, here I am. So we've got Iso Beach directly in front. Got the wind borders. I think some kind of dredge, there's a crane on it, it's currently moving out. Little fishing boats. We're between ferries, so there's nothing running right now. But just to warn you, I'm putting in uh, some insert photos to uh, get close-ups of some of this stuff. So the sound's gonna drop off and I'm gonna take the opportunity to change my battery too. No particular reason for doing a, a fast walk back, so just jump skipping back to the Inari and back to Gionosu. Our previous bridge again, this time a little bit better view. Don't really have a lot of control over zoom on the GoPro, so. I'm not even going to try. Just keeps on popping up the other menus. And back. This gate is the one that used to be in front of the bridge over by Kotsky River, which is where I started the walk to uh, 
in our old town in the previous video. So they dismantled it and moved it down here. And yeah, it's a really nice, big, grand gate. I'm going to back up a little bit, see if I can get a slightly more complete view. The weather started out really nice earlier today, and it's gotten cloudy. I can't get out here very often, so I'm going to have to make do with this level of video right now. It would be nice if the sun would come out again, but it, I can't guarantee it. little bit of sun but it's not going to last we have the park information center over here a little bit of a play area if you want to go down and get your feet wet and the third bridge Pretty similar design to the other two, kind of a hybrid. And slightly better lit view of the gate. A couple pigeon sentries up at the top. Strong arch on this one. Makes it strong, but you're not going to want to push a baby stroller up here or anything with a lot of luggage. Certainly wouldn't want to carry a palanquin with some kind of lord inside if he's pushing 300 pounds. Sakurajima again. And a golf driving practice thing. Do a little bit of a jump. The Sakurajima area, uh, including Kagoshima, has introduced this idea of a geopark, which has a whole bunch of memorial markers or informational site markers scattered around the city for different reasons. Sometimes it's culture, sometimes it's geography. Here, Geosite 4, we have this strong relationship with the stone bridge and the volcano. The culture of stone has developed in Kagoshima. Do you know why? After huge eruption, plenty of volcanic ash accumulates sometimes up to 100 meters high. Volcanic ash with high temperature adhere by heat and heaviness, and yeah, I'm reading it as it's written, and becomes stone when it gets cold. There are many stones in Kagoshima where huge eruptions occurred for many times. This great stone bridge is made by volcanic stone of Kagoshima. Stone bridge and volcano, which looks irrelative, actually has a relationship. Our lives and cultures are all upon an earth. Geopark is the area to enjoy this relationship. Let's go on a journey to find the relationship between the earth and people. The bridge pier, the bridge pier and the arch of Nishida Bridge is made of Ono stone and the parapet is Kagoshira stone. Let's see and touch two stones. These stones are called ingambrite, which are adhered by heat and heaviness. Heavy indeed. We're gonna jump over to the other sign. And this is the third bridge, Nishidobashi, which translates to West Field Bridge, which is the one that used to be closer to my apartment. We've got a very strong arch system and it's probably the tallest of the three bridges. So this is where I'm gonna call it quits with this video. I may try one more and I wanna do a little bit of a video shoot for Black Chamber. Matinette.